Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, departed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia following a visit during which he met with His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 56 of the year 2022 promulgating the issuance of zoning regulations for construction across Bahrain based on the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning's proposal and following the Cabinet's approval. The zoning regulation for construction across Bahrain annexed to this edict shall be enforced. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning shall issue edicts endorsing the detailed urban zoning maps in various regions of the Kingdom. The zoning regulations for construction stipulated by Edict 28 of the year 2009 shall be abrogated. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Bahrain International Air Show Supreme Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired Al Sakhir Air Base, the committee's meeting. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that holding the sixth air show has 10 years of success proved Bahrain's development during the era of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah stated that the success of hosting this international event comes as a result of the support and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as Bahrain became a source of trust for international aviation companies. And manufacturers. His Highness reviewed with the members of the committee all the preparations for the air show and urged them to provide all facilitations for participants, guests and visitors. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah added that this year's air show will witness a quantum leap noting it will include many discussions and sessions and he highlighted the importance of attracting air shows by outstanding air teams and encouraging companies to attract the largest number of airplanes that represent various civil and military sectors. His Highness issued directives to invite 4,000 public and private school students to enter the family section for free to benefit for the, from the air show's various programs as well as to invite local universities in a new initiative that aims to create opportunities to help students learn about the aviation sector. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad also directed to develop the family and spectator section and provide parking spaces close to the Sakhir Air Base's gate to facilitate the entity or the entry of families to the entertainment area. He also ordered to waive the entry fee for children under the age of 12. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to all institutions that are preparing for the official opening of the air show, hailing the role of the private sector in sponsoring it. The Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa attended the ceremony organized by Al Hikma Association for Retirees to launch the special edition of the book of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, preacher, historian, and intellectual in the presence of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Infrastructure Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and senior officials and invitees. The Royal Court Minister affirmed that the launch is in appreciation of the late His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid's efforts in serving the kingdom and affirmed that this book will be an important reference in writing other biographies. He affirmed the care and keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa towards the book where His Majesty directed the association to preserve national biographies. The SCH president delivered a speech in which he praised the great efforts in documenting the life of the late and hailed the contributions of the late in preserving the heritage of the kingdom. The Royal Court Minister then signed the first issue of the book, where he praised its content and the efforts of issuing it. The Deputy Prime Minister then signed the first copy of the book and presented it to the senior officials and attendees. The Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bouyane announced the launch of the national training program to enhance the capacities of those concerned with the protection of human rights and the criminal justice system. More in this report. Session in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halil Ansari, the Minister of Social Development, Osama Al Asfour and Head of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq Al-Hassan, where he announced the launch of the National Training Program 
to enhance the capacities of those concerned with the protection of human rights and the criminal justice system, which is organized by the Special Investigation Units in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program, the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies, and the Royal Police Academy. The meeting aims to support national efforts working to protect and promote human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain. This national training program came with a goal to raise the scientific and practical competence of all human rights workers in the kingdom. A remarkable qualitative presence, specialists and academics, officials at the highest levels, working on human rights in the kingdom, all attended and participated out of their interest in pushing the human rights march in the kingdom of Bahrain to achieve further progress in the performance of this noble mission. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion session on funding and globally influential decisions as part of the sixth edition of the Future Investment Initiative, which is being held in Riyadh. The minister stressed Bahrain's keenness on diversifying its economic basis and moving from a consumer economy into a productive one. He noted continuous development of skills and experiences to achieve forecast goals and aspirations under the comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pointed to the importance of unifying all efforts to reduce the effects of inflation and face the challenges of global supply chains which led to raising energy and food prices. He also stressed the importance of providing adequate funding to handle climate changes, reduce carbon emissions and support various sectors that promote economic growth. The Minister valued the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to launch the Global Supply Chain Initiative which is important for all countries around the world to participate in it. The minister affirmed Bahrain's success stories in braving all challenges imposed by the coronavirus pandemic thanks to the dedication of its national caters and their high sense of patriotism. He pointed out the efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in taking proactive measures to fight the pandemic and meet the requirements of the economic development. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Zayani, visited along with Bahrain Ambassador to the USA, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Salman Industrial Town. Al Zayani stressed the importance of the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the US. He highlighted the economic opportunities in Bahrain, which represent an incentive for American companies to invest and expand their business in the kingdom. He noted that the project to provide the American business zone with infrastructure is one of the most prominent schemes listed in the industrial strategy. 2022-2026, noting that the detailed design for the project have been completed. As the Annie praised the efforts of the Kingdom's Embassy in the USA in promoting Bahrain's investment opportunities, which contributes to boosting the volume of trade exchange. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, inaugurated the fifth edition of the SPE Middle East Artificial Life Conference and Exhibition with large participation of experts and specialists, as well as chairmen and directors of companies operating in the artificial lift field. Dr. Bin Dana stressed the keenness on holding such international functions to promote the oil industry in the Middle East by showcasing the latest technologies and industrial solutions in the artificial lift field at the oil and gas facilities and other related industries. He stressed the importance of ensuring the sustainability of energy production by developing innovative solutions that cope with the environment-friendly model or modern technologies. Dr. Bindana also inaugurated on the sidelines of the conference the accompanying exhibition, which a number of local, regional and international oil companies participated to showcase the best findings in this vital sector. He met with senior officials from the participating companies to exchange information and learn about the services provided by those companies in this respect. The government continues to activate many programs aimed at developing government services provided to citizens and residents in a way that contributes to achieving the best ways of efficiency and productivity in the work of government institutions in light of recording high levels of economic indicators performance. More in this report. In order to develop the quality of government services, the government continues to introduce many policies and programs aimed at achieving the highest levels of efficiency and productivity in the service provided and facilitating its delivery to beneficiaries through qualified and trained cadres who respond to a variety of inquiries, suggestions and complaints to exert utmost efforts to provide high-quality services for all. 
the government's performance levels indicators rose to be matched with an increase in economic indicators during the third quarter of this year, with positive statistics that reflected the reality of the great efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to implement the economic development programs, including the Economic Recovery Plan and the Financial Balance Program. In line with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the government work continues to grow in order to achieve higher levels of efficiency and productivity, enhance the quality of government service directed to citizens and supporting commercial and investment activity in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Zayani, the six Gulf Forum for Accountants and Auditors began under the slogan Transformation in Accounting and Auditing Standards and Practices, which is organized by Act Smart for Public Relations Consultancy in cooperation with Bahrain Accountants Association, with the participation of a group of experts, academics, and specialists. The Minister delegated the Assistant Undersecretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade at the Ministry, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, to attend the opening ceremony. The forum aims to inform specialists in the sector about about its latest developments as well as to discuss the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic on the sector. The executive management for parliamentary and municipal elections 2022 announced the launch of the service for submitting applications for candidates, agents through the official website of the elections. The executive management affirmed its keenness to utilize modern technology to facilitate the procedures of the electoral process, in addition to the possibility of attending the supervisory committees on the safety of the referendums and the elections. The supervisory committees began receiving requests for candidates and agents since Monday and will continue until November 5th. The candidates for the parliamentary and municipal elections will be allowed to choose voters from among those registered in the electoral list of the cons constituency in which they are running as agents at the polling and accounting committees. <laughs> 